Plants are an important aspect of almost any render. When done well, they can magically breathe life into your scene, making everything feel lush and green and just much more believable. But there's one big problem with realistic CG vegetation. Performance. Rendering a lot of plants can take ages and working with 3D plant models can be a pain. This is because we're dealing with very complex and organic structures that just need a lot of detail to look believable, even on a small scale. And for a long time, I thought that that's just the way it is. But with more and more people from the architecture industry working with Grasfeld, I discovered a new method that cuts the memory usage and render time without a compromise in detail. Clump models. Instead of scattering large numbers of individual plant models, clump models work by grouping individual models together and then scattering those bigger clumps. That way, you need far fewer individual objects to achieve basically the same look. Now, a lot of archivist plant models you can find online already use this technique. But most of these clump models somehow look off. That is because these clumps have been randomly generated by particle systems. But in the real world, a lot of plants look different when growing in clumps. They compete for light and food and therefore grow in relation to the other plants close to them. So we went outside to figure out how each species grows when clumped together. And then we rebuilt these clumps by hand to match the exact same look. That way, our clump models are not only optimized, but they also bring a new level of realism and variation to your 3D scene. In total, we added almost 200 additional clump models to Grasfeld Pro. But especially when working with large landscapes, detail isn't always as important when you can't even see the individual plants. That's why we also added lower resolution models for each species variant as clump and individual models. This adds more than 200 additional models to the Gasol Pro library. That way, you can switch out your detailed models for lighter ones when creating smaller vegetation in the background. And to make your life even easier, we added so-called proxy models to speed up your viewport. These primitive shapes represent the original models in the viewport, but are switched to the higher resolution models during the viewport render or the final render. And with our new LOD system, you can toggle these on and off as you wish. Now, with our existing material quality settings, our geometry decimation options and more new features like better viewport colors, camera culling, and an integration with the scatter add-on, we think that Grasfab Pro is ready for even larger areas. And since this is a thing that not only professionals benefit from, we also added all of these features and models to Grasfab so that everyone can work faster. So if you haven't already, get Grasfeld from grasfeld3d.com and join our Facebook group if you have any questions. <laughs>